Today's topic is nasal polyps. Nasal polyps are soft, painless, non-cancerous growths that form in the lining of the nose or the sinuses. Polyps usually vary in size, with a yellowish-brown or pinkish color. Nasal polyps typically grow in one or both nostrils in people that are affected. Polyps can grow closely together, or cluster, or grow alone. Polyps are teardrop-shaped. Large and clustered polyps can cause nasal blockage and lead to breathing difficulty. Loss of sense of smell and infections. Small polyps are mostly symptomless. Nasal polyps can affect anyone, but most common in adults over 40 years of age. Polyps are twice as likely to occur in males than in females. Polyps are often linked to chronic inflammation due to asthma, allergies, certain immune disorders, or recurrent infections. Causes Polyps are caused by an inflammation of the nasal mucus. The mucosa is a wet layer that helps to keep the inside of the nose and sinuses protected, and as well keep the air we breathe humidified. An inflammation that is due to a prolonged period of irritation or infection to the mucosa may often result in the formation of polyps. Some people can develop polyps without a case of nasal infection. Such polyps may be triggered by asthma, allergic rhinitis, sensitivity to medications such as aspirin or ibuprofen, an allergy to airborne fungi, cystic fibrosis, a chronic disease that affects the liver, lungs, pancreas, or intestine, Churg-Strauss syndrome that results in the inflammation of the blood vessels, genetics, symptoms. The following symptoms are common. A runny nose, post-nasal drip, poor sense of smell, poor sense of taste, pain in the face, a headache, sleep apnea, snoring, nasal congestion and stuffiness, itching around the eyes, trouble breathing with the nose. Diagnosis and treatment. Diagnosis. A doctor may ask questions about your symptoms and carry out a physical examination in making diagnosis. A lighted instrument called a nanoscope is passed into your nasal passage to visualize polyps inside the nose. If polyps are farther into the sinuses, a nasal endoscopy is carried out. The doctor places a narrow, flexible tube with a light and camera into the nasal passage. This enables the doctor to carry out a comprehensive examination inside the nose and sinuses. Imaging studies, including CT scan, enable the doctor to see the location and size of the nasal polyps and detect the extent of inflammation. An allergy test may be performed if your doctor thinks allergies may be contributing to polyp development. If a child is diagnosed with nasal polyps, a cystic fibrosis test is carried out. Treatment Nasal polyps treatment usually begins with medications that can shrink or make large polyps disappear. Medications that are used include nasal steroid spray. This treatment can shrink or eliminate nasal polyps by reducing inflammation. Some examples are fluticasone, like Flonase, Budesonide, like Rhinocort, and Mometasone, like Nasonex. Nasal steroid tablets, such as prednisone, may be taken if nasal spray is ineffective. This may be taken alone or combined with a nasal spray. Antihistamines for treating allergies and antibiotics for treating chronic or recurrent infections. If polyps are extremely large or have not been reduced with medications, a surgical procedure called polypectomy may be required. In this procedure, the polyps are cut out using the surgical equipment. It is the most common procedure for removing polyps. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.